Merry Christmas and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's category is the Chronicles of Narnia. This is episode number 703 and it's going to encompass all of the Chronicles of Narnia fandom. So the books, the movies, the actors, the guy who wrote it, anything that has to do with Chronicles of Narnia, there can be a question about it. Okay, this doesn't narrow down to one of the books. So, good luck on today's quiz. Question one. C.S. Lewis was a British author who wrote the collection of fantasy novels, The Chronicles of Narnia, beginning in 1950. What do the initials C and S stand for in his name? His full name is Clive Staples Lewis. Question number two. Depicted as a talking lion and described as the king of beasts, what is the name of the son of the emperor over the sea and the king above all high kings in Narnia? The answer is Aslan. Question number three. There were four Provinci children who entered the wardrobe into Narnia. Susan and Edmund were the middle children. What were the names of the oldest and the youngest siblings? The oldest was Peter and the youngest was Lucy. Question number four. Although The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe was published first, in chronological order of the story being told, what was the title of the book that occurs first? The book that occurs first is The Magician's Nephew. Question number five. The last book published and the final story chronologically, what was the title of the last book in the Chronicles of Narnia series that was first published in 1956? The answer is The Last Battle. Question number six. In The Silver Chair, published in 1953, the Parliament was an organization of talking animals that met during the night to discuss the state of affairs in the land of Narnia. What type of animals were they? Parliament was a group of owls. Question number seven. Between 1950 and 1956, C.S. Lewis authored and Pauline Baines illustrated how many novels in total for the Chronicles of Narnia book series? In total, there are seven books. Question number eight. In the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe movie that was released in 2005 and based on the 1950 novel, what famous actor provided the voice for Aslan? The answer is Liam Neeson. Question number nine. 
Terebinthia is a sovereign island kingdom in the Great Eastern Ocean and was first mentioned in the Narnia series in which book when Drinian was telling the children about the ship's journey. That book was The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Question number 10. In the 2008 film Prince Caspian, Peter Dinklage plays the role of what intensely practical and skeptical dwarf who, after the war, is named by King Caspian as the Lord Regent of Narnia. The answer is Trumpkin. Question number 11. What was the name of the capital of the Kingdom of Narnia, a spectacular castle and the home of kings and queens during Narnia's early years, located on a peninsula on the Eastern Ocean? The answer is Ker Paravel. Question number 12. Which one of the four Pavinci children was the first to find the wardrobe entrance and be transported to Narnia in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? The answer is Lucy. Question number 13. What is the name of the sweet treat that the White Witch uses as bait to try and tempt Edmund Pavinci to betray his family and bring her the rest of his siblings? The answer is the Turkish Delight. Question 14. Sometimes referred to as Her Imperial Majesty, Queen of Narnia, Chatelaine of Ker Paravel, and Empress of the Lone Islands, what is the real five-letter first name of the White Witch? The answer is Jadis. Question 15. At the start of the fictional book series, what real-world event is going on that led them to be evacuated from London and sent to live with Professor Diggory Kirk in the English countryside? The answer is World War II specifically the Blitz. Question 16. Before she was killed, the White Witch had cursed Narnia for the past how many years so that would always be winter but never Christmas? It had been a hundred years worth of winter. Question 17. Appearing as a minor character in Prince Caspian and as a major character in The Voyage of the Dawn Treader and also briefly at the end of The Last Battle, what type of animal was Reepicheep? Reepicheep was a mouse. Question 18. 
which one of the main characters in the books is the only character that appears in every one of the installments of the Chronicles of Narnia series. The only character that showed up in every book was Aslan. Question 19. Between the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and Prince Caspian, only one year has passed for the children in the real world. However, upon returning to Narnia, they find out that it has been how many years since they left? In Narnia, 1,300 years had passed. And question 20. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, who brings presents for the children, including several weapons and an elixir that can heal any wound that they will later use in battle? Who else but Father Christmas? Alright, that is it for today's trivia. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. It will be episode number 704. I think we're going to do the movie Elf. i got to see if i got a copy of it laying around here so I can watch it one time before I write the questions. So tomorrow, probably Elf. If not, something else kind of Christmassy, I'll figure it out. We've gotten some good suggestions, actually, on some Christmas trivia. Um, some of them, some people have sent me suggestions of stuff we did last year. So if you want to, you can go back to last year's Christmas trivia. We've got all of those quizzes, like Christmas toys, Christmas songs, Christmas traditional songs, uh, food, everything that you want to know about Christmas, we've got most of those. If you've got one that I haven't done yet, send it to me and I'll put it on the list for Christmas trivia this year. I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for Chronicles of Narnia trivia. A major landmark in Narnia, located in the northwestern part of the country, what was the feature that marked the beginning of Narnia and the point of separation to the human world? The feature we're looking for is the lamppost. That was where Narnia began. The answer is a lamppost. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.